what's up guys today i'm just going to be showing you guys how to get yourself or how i got myself an internship in my second year of university study um, i'm just going to be showing you guys everything what impressed them and how i did it right okay so as you can see here this is a response but we're not going to start with this i'm just going to first show you what i first did like how i actually got there right and then we'll go through the email i sent what i sent them and the responses that i got and i'll handle that um, and I won't be covering the interview in this video, but in another video I'll be doing um, I'll just do a video about interview how it went and what I learned in the company and stuff and stuff like stuff like that Okay, so it was just a random night. I decided that you know what I just want to learn um, More things like I was just frustrated that I know a lot of things, but I don't really know how to work with other people I've just been working by myself all the time and I wanted some cash as well, right? But I thought to myself, cash isn't the most important thing. I just thought, you know what, if I just get an internship, whether it's paying me or not, even if it's not paying me, I'm, I'm fine, right? I'll just take whatever they're giving me. So what I did was I just said, okay, software uh, companies in Pretoria, for example, which is where I was, okay? Okay, as you can see here, um, it'll just show you like the ads and stuff, but I just skipped that. And I come here and I like, view all of them, right? And so what I would do is like, I would just um, go to the website of, of these um, companies that they show here and I would go to the contact section right there, right? Um, in the contact section, you will find something like you can use, like this is an, e oh, no, this is not an email, but this is an email right here, right? Just click here. It'll probably try to open, um, I don't know, an, an email client on your desktop or something. But even if, if, if it doesn't, you just copy the email and uh, like just email address and send them your email or your resume or whatever okay so that's the process like so i just googled um just to repeat it but i don't need i don't think i need to repeat it you can just repeat the video <laughs> okay so as you can see like i just went here and these are the companies and i sent an email to all of these companies right but um only two of them responded and one of them gave me an internship the other one gave me a contract they wanted to give me an internship but i rejected it for my reasons which i will tell you later on okay so this is the email i sent them right uh, hopefully it's very visible i hope um let me see i don't okay let me not do it i was about to uh, try and manipulate the the html in the dom here and remove the stuff on the side but it's fine it's gonna take time so in the email um first first, first thing you can see is the subject right the subject was pretty direct like i didn't try to be vague about it um I was just direct about what I want. I'm seeking voluntary work opportunity. Like I told you, I wanted the money, but I thought everybody wants the money, right? They want to get paid, but I just like, you know what? Let me just do it for free. That's what I thought. I wanted to do it for free, okay? Of course, they're paying me now, but I was surprised because I was like, okay, they pay me and I wanted to do it for free. I guess no company will actually want you to do it for free or software companies. I don't think they would want that, at least where I am. Yeah, but... Uh, but this is what I sent. So the first paragraph was really a summary of everything that I'm about to read down, downwards, right? So I was just telling them, in summary, I'm seeking to do voluntary work in your company as a web developer, right? My name is Samuel Motumabi, a second-year computer science student at the University of Johannesburg who has been doing web development since 2018 February. This is important because imagine um, someone has to scroll and read all of this before they can understand what you want and what you're talking about, right? That's not a, a good thing. So down there, I have the attachments. I probably not scroll there that much. Okay, so here you just want to tell them everything that you want. The reason for that is you must think of companies as very busy people and stuff. They have uh, clients and stuff. You don't want them to read a lot of stuff, you know, just to understand what you want. You're not a client. You're just someone wanting something from them, right? So that's, yeah, that's what I did here. I just told them what I want, who I am, right? And why I feel that I'm qualified. Okay, and then I was like, okay, the purpose of me wanting to do voluntary work in your... I, the purpose of me wanting to do voluntary work is for gaining actual industry experience. I'm a full stack web developer who uses MongoDB, Node.js with Express, and Vue.js for development. Although this is my best tool set, I am able to learn new technology with ease and main, with ease mainly because they share the same purposes but perhaps uh, differing in syntax, philosophy, or environments of development. The reason why I mentioned that I am able to learn new technology with ease is because it's true. It is true, and also it's highly unlikely that you'll get a company that uses the exactly the same tech stack as you. So you want them to be able to know that you don't mind learning something new, right? You're comfortable with that and you're good with that. So this is what's like mainly why I was, I was putting that in. And here I was just stretching the fact that 
hey, I won't be costing you any money because I was like, okay, I have a great com computer I can use to do the voluntary work. Does you need not to make any expenses for purchasing a computer for me to use for development? And I said, okay. And here I'm trying to tell them I'm available, right? I was like, hey, since our uh, universities have switched to online learning, this has given me the opportunity to be able to do voluntary work full-time, in person, or even part-time, depending upon your preference. And currently I'm in Pretoria. So this is important to mention where you at because they need to know you're close to them right meaning you you don't uh you probably won't be late often right okay something like that so i was like okay your response will be very much appreciated this is my cell number below i've attached my academic record my identification and my metric certificate and this is what got me in the, <laughs> the, the internship right here none of this mattered as far as i can tell you the academic record my id my metric certificate which are good they didn't matter like they didn't matter they looked at this my portfolio website right you will see in the responses as we go on as to what they said about my portfolio and stuff like that so now i'm just going to go to it and we'll look at it so we're done with this email and then i attach those documents down there of course okay so let me go to it uh let me just put it here so this is my portfolio website um it, it's not really fancy i just put the particle js there i like it i kind of like it and um, I just say, okay, this is my name, this is what I do, what I like. And these are just call to action buttons. Like this takes you, like if you click on this, your own mobile, you can call me, you can email me. This, go, let's, this directs you to my uh, GitHub account, right? So here I just have projects that I've done. Um, you can be able to see the code or see the video if it's not live. And here you can see the code or see it live. Meaning you can just go and use the app. I've deployed them on Heroku. You can he deploy stuff on Heroku for free. It's not the best kind, but it's for free. So I would advise that you do that. You host your applications where it's possible. Where it's not, you make a YouTube video demonstrating how it works and those kinds of things. And you put a link like this, right? Okay. Uh, and uh, this is another This is another one right here. Okay. And then here, I just like just the tools. Like, um, like I said, the most important tool I have is the ability to, to learn new technology at ease and stuff and stuff. This is the languages that I know, the frameworks and libraries. Of course, this has grown much more. I know more stuff now. And some of these things, I feel like I should remove them because I haven't used them in ages. Like PHP, I haven't used it in like two years now. Or two years, six months, probably. I haven't touched PHP. So I should probably remove this. Uh, I should probably also remove this. Uh, here, we're pretty much good. Yeah, I should probably like just remove these two because jQuery and PHP... Uh, and uh, this is just info about myself right here what i do and whatever whatever how i i learn programming um it's not really important the information for you to know but yeah i just I, um, it's it's how it is uh just in case you can't read here the info but if you if you if you want to see more and just go to cook it so somewhere.github.io and you'll find my portfolio website and you can just see how yours can look like i use bootstrap because I'm not a front-end web developer, but if you're a front-end web developer specifically and you want to do web design or front-end web development, you probably shouldn't be using a framework because they want to know how good you are at the front-end stuff, right? So you need to do something custom, something unique. But I didn't need to do that because my strength is in the back-end, which I mentioned up here, right? And they went here. This is my GitHub um, my GitHub uh, profile, right? So as you can see, this is me. This is my wallpaper there presents what i believe in christianity and how christ is the way to life that's what that is for me and here i'm just a normal guy who believes that jesus is lord and that programming is cool and useful this is just a short description that is okay and this is these are my repos right here um you can see like i have uh, let's say i have 19 because this is i don't know it's just nothing this is nothing i have 18 repos you can see that stuff uh yeah it's just like a couple of stuff i've done some of these things are very useless, but some of these things are really cool. Like this is cool. I would say this is also cool. This is also cool. Uh, this is just a website. This is also a bit cool. Um, this is really cool for me. <laughs> I like this. Uh, but some of these things aren't cool. I mean, I have more repos. I have 31 repos, but the other ones are private. So they can't really see that. And I wouldn't make them public. If you, obviously, it makes sense. They are, <laughs> they are my personal stuff. And so I got the responses, right, which is what we're looking at now. I did get the responses. So this is what I did. Let me let me just start from the beginning and let me present it. So uh, the responses that I got uh, was like, let me just show you something um, before. We go. I want to show you how when I sent this. Um, I sent this. Let me just go back. Okay, now it's this one. Let me go back. Is it this one? 
Okay, I wanted to go back to that email. Okay, there, there it is. So in this email, as you can see here, I sent the email by September the 18th at 5.50 a.m. Let's just put it that way, 5.50 a.m., right? And then I got the first response at 8.40 a.m., the same day, which is, we can say, in three hours' time, I got a response from the first company. And I was kind of excited. I was like, wow, this worked. I didn't think it would work, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I was kind of excited. And um, yeah, they said, hey, hi, someone. Thanks for you volunteering for an internship. We like your GitHub portfolio. As you can see, the GitHub portfolio is what they mentioned. They don't mention my academic record or that nonsense. Like nobody cares about that. I don't care about that. They don't care about that. I, I sent it just in case they care, but they didn't seem to care about that. They care about my GitHub portfolio, my projects, I can say. They said, before I can invite you for an in-person interview, I would like to, you for, uh, I would like, I would need you, I will need you to complete our initial evaluation quiz. I've sent an email at, uh, with the assessment link. Would you be able, would you be willing to come in for an in-person interview obviously i said yes um yes i would be very happy to like whatever i uh, asked when and they said okay the link whatever whatever i was like yeah i did it it was an iq test which i did and i failed it i got 10 out of 20 that was bad <laughs> that was bad i don't know if i'm retarded or if i was in a rush i think i'm retarded i don't know <laughs> so they, they said hi someone you did fairly poorly on the assessment you only got 10 out of 20 and usually for developer level internships i would normally take only people above 15 out of 20 due to your github profile you see that this is the emphasis my github profile and projects right i would like to give you another chance but this will effectively be a trial by fire we will set up an environment for you and give you two days with an assistance with the assistance of one intern and two devs to complete a basic working automated test in our environment and to create a pull request on github for the job this will entail using github and javascript and using our database dockers so they recommended some videos and he did ask me are you willing to come on Monday? Of, of course, I was like, yeah, I want to come in. Of course, like, yeah, I was like, Monday works for me. And then, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay. And then, like, here, I was sending him emails. He wasn't responding. I was like, oh, man, is this guy, like, you know, is he ghosting me? I was like, okay. I can't be, like, you see, like, I sent an email by 2 p.m. He didn't respond. I was like, oh, man. I sent another email by 9 p.m. I was like, um, hey, I feel like, you know, I was. Just, this was just about... Are you ignoring me? Like, if you're ignoring me, like, I'm just, uh, I just want to get your input. Should I come? He's like, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, Samuel, perfect. See you tomorrow at 8 at our what, what office regards. I was like, okay. Then here I was on my way. I went there. Office. I got late. I got there late. But things went well. Uh, the first day was difficult, but I will talk about that in some other video. And I passed the interview and I got the internship, right? Uh, so while I was busy with that internship, I got another email from another company, right? Uh, but this is, okay, you see this response. This is not exactly accurate because they did call me. We were in, like, I think we were in communication for about two weeks. The company was calling me, asking me questions and this kind of stuff. They gave me a test to complete, which of, which I did well in. It was just a coding test, but not exactly easy, but I did well. And they offered me an internship, like an internship as well, right? Uh, and I was, I was like, in, like, you know, in a difficult situation because I, on the other hand, I had, a, I had another company that already gave me an opportunity. I was, I was there, and they, they, they're a great company where I am now. I like it. Um, I'm happy where I am. And this, this company here in particular is much bigger than the one I'm working at, but the company I'm working at has more freedom for me, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> because here, they did send a contract which had other things I didn't like. In the contract, at some point, there was something about me not being able to do my private projects without declaring them to the company right so if i do my private project which is maybe com like which i wish to commercialize and i don't tell the company about it it will effective it will effectively be owned by the company so which for me was bad i felt like okay this is not good because i'm not planning to just be working for someone for all my life um i want to gain experience that's why i wanted an internship or something like that uh but yeah here i just want to show you that even though i was like hey i want to volunteer both of these companies did offer to pay me right none of them was like yeah just come in and um we don't want to give you anything they offered to pay me right and one thing i will say is that if you don't want for example this is a contract i can't show you anything else like it's it's obviously illegal to do that um which is why i've also hidden the names of the companies and those kinds of things and the people who are sending me the emails um even though i said okay let me do this for free they offered to pay me i would say if you want to do something similar to what i did don't lie don't tell people that you want to do it for free if you don't want to just be honest about what you want i would say that's that's the the key because everything i said in my emails was honesty and um i think that's how i got it so i would say you should also 
try as much as you can to be an honest person, right? I know it might be like, oh, it worked for him. It's not the case. It's not like it will work for you exactly. I think for me, what worked was honesty and my skills. I would say, obviously, it was that. I, I wasn't lucky. I don't want to lie. I don't feel lucky. I feel, I feel skilled and I feel like I deserved it, right? Because clearly they said, like your GitHub portfolio and stuff, they, they were emphasizing that it's good, it's good. So if, I feel like if you improve that and you build more of your own projects and stuff, you should be comfortable and you should find opportunities much easier, right? And so, yeah, I just sent them an email, this other second company that, you know, after thinking about it, I'm going to have to decline the offer. I really appreciate the opportunity, but I see myself wanting to do more on my side without, with freedom, without having to constantly be consulting and informing anyone. I uh, really appreciate your efforts and the opportunity. God bless you. Uh, and there's the, that person responded, Hi, thank you for letting me know. All the best with your studies. And this was the end of our conversation. And um, yeah, now I'm currently just doing my internship with this com uh, company I'm with now. And they also, like I said, I said it was for free, but he offered to pay me, which was exciting. And um, yeah, I, I think I would say I'm happy with where I am. And uh, this proves to me that you're maybe most companies maybe some companies don't really care about your academia they care about your skills which makes sense your degree won't solve bug like they won't solve problems or fix bugs or develop programs your skills will do and that's what they seem to care about in my case and i would say improve that more and when you want for an opportunity like you're looking for an opportunity express that more right i would say that yeah and obviously i would say this applies to say Actually, even if you don't have a degree, for example, you would probably get it, you know, because where I'm working, there's someone who just went from high school. They don't have a degree, don't have no, like no qualifications, but they're working as a developer. The, the other guy went from like into to a boot camp. They're working as a developer, right? So I would say just show them your projects. That's most important. That's the most important. Your projects and your GitHub must be good. Just put your best stuff there. I don't have my best stuff there, you know, but I still got it. So, I mean, if you put your best stuff, you should have much more, ad like a much more advantage than I have. So, yeah, guys, that'll be it. Uh, if you want more stuff like this, just sub subscribe to the channel, hit the like, and ask me any questions that you want to ask and put it in the comments section. And um, if, for example, you want me to look at your GitHub uh, profile and comment what I think, uh, you can just put it in the comments. And as well as if you want me to review your portfolio website or tell you how I hosted mine, how I created mine, this kinds of things, any kind of a question at all, just put it in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching and giving me your ears, whether they're big or small. Yeah, I appreciate it.